So, Allison, what's up? Well, bro, this is the time of year when people start thinking about New Year's resolutions. Or, at the very least, they wake up from the fog of the holidays and realize that they spent way too much money or gained too much weight. So, then, roughly, apparently, two-thirds of us make New Year's resolutions. Do you make New Year's resolutions? I do. Typically? You do? Oh, yeah. What's your, what's your batting average for keeping them? Oh, probably 50-50. <laughs> yeah. And, and let me guess, most of your New Year's resolutions have to do with your health or money. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Right. So, that's not unusual. Most are along the lines of eat healthier, get more exercise, save more money. And then, of course, we completely abandon them around February. Yeah. But... But what if we take the longer view and see what people truly regret in their old age? And then we'll work backwards with steps we can take to avoid being truly miserable after having lived a wasted life. <laughs> so let's head to the research. Let's do it. We're going to go to the Legacy Project out of Cornell. I feel like you've mentioned the Legacy Project on the podcast before, it but maybe not. Familiar. It's, so it's led by. Uh, some researchers out of Cornell. And basically, they gathered responses from 1,500 people over the age of 65 about all kinds of things, including their most common regrets in life. So, here are, in no particular order, the eight most common regrets that the wise elder people in our life have. Ready? I'm ready. All right. Number one, not being careful enough when choosing a life partner. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> so, hopefully this is getting better um, as a society. Hopefully, young men and women feel like they have more options and that your 20s aren't just a big game of musical chairs where you got to choose the closest <laughs> one when the music stops. Um, one person that they talked to for their research said that it was better to not get married than to marry the wrong person. Yeah, that's probably true. And I think we are getting better. Isn't the divorce rate going down? Yeah, I think that's it true. Is, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. We talked about that in the past, about yeah. how millennials are better at marriage than baby boomers. Good job, right. millennials. Hey, way to go, millennials. All right, number two. Second, uh, another regret that people have, not resolving a family squabble. Mm. So, some of the most unhappy people in their old age, researchers said, were those that had a rift with a family member, like a child or a sibling or a parent, and never reconciled. Oh, yeah. That's and that's sad. That is sad. sad. All right, number three, putting off saying how you feel. Apparently, not expressing love frequently enough was a common regret of older men. Oh. oh. <laughs> what if that's a generational thing? I feel Might like be. today's man is a little more sensitive and effusive, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I don't know. I love you guys. Thank you. <laughs> I love you guys, too. Aww. And you, too, listeners. I think you guys are, are pretty okay. Thanks. All right, number four, not traveling enough. Some people chose to wait until retirement to travel, but the researchers said that putting it off means that your health could have already started yes, failing that's very before true. you've had a chance to do your lifelong dream of a trip to Italy or whatever. Yeah. So many of the older people said that they should have taken um, a trip sooner, um, and that travel should have been more important than, like, say, a kitchen remodel. Mm -hmm. um, nor does a travel even have to be the cost of a kitchen remodel. The older people they talked to said you should just get out there more and just travel. Yeah, good. Fifth common regret, spending too much time worrying. Apparently, many of the people they talked to regretted about anxiety from worrying over things that never happened or they didn't have control over. The general advice was, just stop worrying. But, but that's so easier <laughs> said than that's done. Why, but that's why they didn't happen, because I worried about it. Right. If I didn't worry about it, it would have happened. Right, right. So, for those of you who are like, okay, I'm ready to stop worrying, I guess you can go back and listen to our episode on cognitive behavioral <laughs> therapy, because I don't know how you just... like. Literally Literally, the advice was just don't worry so much, as if it's yeah. like that easy. Right. Yeah, whatever. All right, number six, not being honest. Hmm. Apparently, lying and deceit gnaws away at you slowly but surely. And then there you are on your deathbed thinking about how you were a lying liar who lied. And you're about to be judged. <laughs> yes. Yes. Number seven, not taking enough career chances. Hmm. So, people they talked to were in favor of taking more risk when it comes to your career. They regretted opportunities that they passed on or weren't brave enough to try. Um, and so, this one could potentially haunt me because I feel like it's awfully cozy here at The Motley Fool. It is, and I am actually in a room with two men who have been working at the same place for twenty years. Twenty, I'll be twenty years next year. Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that one might touch a chord here. It's, one it's a warm bath. It's really hard to get out. It is a really warm bath. That's true. <laughs> All right, and number eight, not surprisingly, of, co of course, when you're older and everything hurts, you're going to regret not taking as good care of your body. 
So when you're young, you're thinking that smoking or eating poorly or not exercising, okay, fine, whatever, I'll die a little sooner. But the problem is, is that you don't get to die. Thanks to the marvels of modern medicine, you get to suffer through years of chronic disease. So enjoy that. So none of them were fine. None of them were like, oh, I wish I had saved more for retirement or anything like that. No, but I don't know that there's really a definitive study on the area of what people regret in life because there was lots of books that people wrote after having lived after having had a career in hospice care or something like that. So there was this is there's probably room for more um, rigorous research in the area of regret. Right. I have read uh, a recent study that we published uh, on full.com about in terms of money, what what are the biggest regrets regrets and one of them is I wish I had saved more money. I mean, w- one of the biggest Determinants, we've talked about this before, of a happy retirement is number one, health, but then financial security. And it's hard to enjoy your golden years if you're kind of racked with financial anxiety. Right. Well, most of like that, and that's that falls in line with New Year's resolutions, right? Those short term, like the, those decisions of I want to save more, I want to be healthier, I want to do this. Whereas a lot of the life regrets had a lot to do with like relationships. And like relationships with family, like not being honest, right. or rela- so family squabbles and not choosing the right life partner. A lot of the lifelong regrets actually had to do more with your relationships with people than your relationships with money or your health. Although health is in there too. So, is your recommendation for people as you think about your resolutions for this year to just think of those things? Did anything sort of Ring a bell, strike a chord. See, I kn- see. I have in here in my notes. What's my takeaway? Because bro is such a stickler for a takeaway. <laughs> so yes, as I was naming those things, if any one of those single regrets made you catch your breath or your heart skip a beat, or you were like, oh, yeah, okay, all right, even doing just one thing in the coming year that could get at that to help you have a happier 2019 and beyond. So, is there someone that you could bury the hatchet with? Is there a trip you could plan? Flossing. None of these things are necessarily easy, but they aren't all dependent on building or changing habits, which, as we know, is really, really hard. Um, You know, one well said, I love you, could apparently make a difference for the rest of your life. But also definitely floss every day. All right. And bro, that's what's up. 